What's up guys, today, I'm looking forward to this video. We're gonna do something a little different. We're going to be making a Mahi Mahi, which is Hawaiian. I would assume you can catch this near Hawaii. It is a dolphin tuna, and it's a really cool fish, actually. It has some cool colors on it, some green and blue, and highlighted colors, which is gonna be fun to paint. Uh, I'm gonna make two parts for this video, so go check out the second part if you're interested. Um, this is gonna come out before that, so uh, turn on that post notifications if you'd like to see the second part. But uh, other than that, I'm gonna make some cool things for this lure. Uh, the top fin, along with the caudal fin, the anal fin, and the bottom fin, those are all going to be plastic. So we're gonna have some plastic attachments, which I've never done on a YouTube video. But uh, other than that, we're also gonna do some fun facts this video, so stay tuned for that. Uh, I'm gonna try to upload some more uh, more often. I did not upload yesterday because uh, fun thing for over the summer, I'm, go I'm going to be making a treehouse in my backyard. So I was getting wood uh, from a family friend's barn for the treehouse. So I'm really looking forward to building that. I can do some cool videos in that. I actually have some ideas, which might be thinking like, how are you gonna make fishing lures in a treehouse? But uh, you'll see in the summer. But other than that, let's get right into it. All right, guys, this is how the piece turned out. Doesn't look like much right now, and uh, that's okay because we didn't add any, anything, really. Uh, none of the plastics, none of uh, any of the hardware or anything like that to make it look uh, pretty spiffy, I guess you could say. Um, but uh, other than that, now it's time for the first fun facts we ever did on this channel. So uh, insert those on here as I finish this lure. Yeah, so today we're going to be talking about the Mahi Mahi. So the ma Mahi Mahi is a do also called a dolphin fish. It's a very fast swimmer, reaching speeds up to 60 miles per hour. The name Mahi Mahi literally means strong, strong in Polynesian, which is really cool. The fish is also called a Durando in Spanish, which is a name that stems off of its golden color. So like I said, if you like the fun facts, let me know in the description. But other than that, let's get right back into the video. Alright guys, now it is time for the kind of tricky part of this build, which is going to be trying to figure out how to incorporate the rear hook hanger with uh, the tail. So, I have this plastic here, and that is what I'm going to use for the tail. But um, on previous videos, like you can see, I think the only one that I uploaded on YouTube was the Baby Bass Swim Bait, which is a pretty cool uh, video. Um, that one I used plastic for the tail as well. So, But um, as you can see in that video, I kind of doubled this. That way it's more durable and also uh, it's less flimsy. So I think I'm going to do that with this, except this time I'm going to put the hook hanger inside of that and also drill a hole there. So that way it's really secure in there along with the tail. So if you don't know what I mean by that, uh, just stay tuned and uh, you'll see. But um, other than that, let's get right to it. Alright guys, I just drew the line for the uh, top fin, um, and the uh, anal fin back there is drying, and that I put some clips on. That was quite the struggle, I almost super glued my hands together, I actually ripped off a little bit of my skin, which, that hurts, I'll tell you what. But um, other than that, we have to cut the slot for this, if you've never seen this done, basically I'm just going to cut a slot, uh, this line here, and then uh, insert the plastic, which I also have to make the fin for that. But uh, other than that, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so I just finished cutting the slot for this lure, now it's time to cut the fin, and uh, also, um, I can also add detail to the fin, which is pretty cool, because this plastic I can also carve in, so I'm um, excited to do that, so other than that, let's get right into it. Alright guys, I just finished the top fin, looks really cool actually, I think I'm going to wait to install this uh, until I finish all the hardware um, and all the lead and everything, so I'm going to wait to install this, probably till uh, just before I... Um, I'm going to paint because I also have the bottom one to make along with uh, waiting for the tail to dry like I mentioned earlier so other than that um, I think I'm going to work on the hardware and I get everything else in until the tail is dry so then I can add that and put it all together so catch you guys up once I'm all done with that. Alright guys, it's now the next week, so we're going to, going to be continuing this build. Uh, sorry I did not upload last week. Um, I had some other stuff going on, like I mentioned earlier. I was getting wood for my treehouse, which is going to be pretty neat. But uh, other than that, I tried to uh, figure out what was going on with the tail, see if it was dry yet. But actually, both sides of it snapped, which is quite unfortunate. When I was trying to sand it, it snapped. So we're going to have to make a new tail. So that shouldn't be too bad, but uh, that was quite a pain to figure out how to do that but now that i know it should be a little easier um and if i can't get that to work then i'll just put two uh hook hangers on the bottom here and then just a regular plastic tail on the back but that means we can't have this fin which i was also looking forward to make so i'm going to try to make another tail like that but if not that's okay not the end of the world we can improvise but uh other than that i'm going to try to figure out the rest of the hardware uh, i'll catch you guys up once we're ready for lead
All right, guys, it's time for the lead pot. Should be all good. Might have to wait a little bit longer. Make sure whenever you're like, if you have a lead pot at home, make sure that you always uh, wear a mask or have ventilation because this could be some dangerous stuff. So just always remember to use that. Uh, I know some people don't and that's that's their opinion. Uh, but mine is definitely to have protection uh, when using these, so. All right, guys, it is now time to cut the tail slot. Um, so, uh, like I mentioned, I had to make a remake a new tail uh, earlier, so because my other one broke. But other than that, we're gonna do this, and then we're also gonna. I uh, decided I'm gonna carve the gills on this, which is gonna look pretty cool. I don't have a stencil for it, and I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty complicated to make a stencil for Mahi Mahi. So uh, for this one, I'm just gonna carve it. So uh, I'm gonna get right to cutting that. All right, guys, so this is what it's looking like right now. I did install the top fin. Uh, looks really cool, actually. Uh, definitely brought it all together. It kind of looked like lifeless with this piece of wood just by itself without any of the fins. So it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to draw the gills and everything and where the eye sockets are going to have to be and uh, go into depth of that and also carve um, all the gills and everything like I mentioned earlier. So um, I'm going to go in and uh, finish that. I'm going to go inside to do that. Man, it's cold out here. I can't feel my feet right now, but... Uh, definitely worth it this is a really cool lure so uh, i hope you guys are enjoying the video and if you are consider subscribing because uh i try to my very best to post weekly videos on making new fishing lures um if you can see i made uh, i think a couple weeks ago i made a baby bass swim bait which is pretty cool uh, i got my most views on that which is pretty neat um also uh, i got 40 subscribers a while ago thanks guys for that it's really cool keep growing hopefully get 100 someday but um, other than that, I'm going to continue with this until I'm done. And I'll catch you guys up once we're ready to uh, drill the eye sockets and everything. Alright guys, as you saw there in the time lapse, I just finished carving the gills and everything. Looks really cool. I like how it came out. It's actually very similar to uh, how the Mahi Mahi looks, so I'm pretty impressed with that. I'll, I'll put up a picture right here of what an actual Mahi Mahi looks uh, next to this one. But uh, this is definitely far from done, so uh, I still have to paint it. Still, I'm going to do some more sanding, so that is going to be in part two of this video. I don't want to make it too long, so uh, if you're looking forward to that and you like my content today, subscribe, hit that notification button, because I'm going to be filming that in the next couple of days. So uh, other than that, thanks for watching. If you're interested in seeing better pictures of my handmade lures, check out my Instagram, put the username up here. But uh, other than that, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.